Michael here with a massive week in Lego news. Transformers Bumblebee, Lego Mario Kart and Summer Sets, $300 Gotham City, Summer Marvel Sets, Exclusive Darth Maul, and Lego Legend of Korra. And don't forget to check out the latest episode of my Lego Masters recap podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week I sit down with Season 4's Tim and Tim to break down their time on the show. And you can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more using the links below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with Lego deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First over at Best Buy, the LEGO Star Wars Razor Crest is 20% off. Plus you can save 35% off the LEGO Marvel Goat Boat, LEGO Avatar, Floating Mountains, and Tree of Souls sets, which Amazon has too. You can get the LEGO Crater Main Street and LEGO Disney King Magnifico's Castle for 39% off. From LEGO Dreams, they've got the Stable of Dream Creatures for 44% off. And from LEGO City, they've got the Shark Attack Stunt Challenge for 40% off and the Dunk Stunt Ramp Challenge for 33% off. And from LEGO Star Wars, you can get the Advent Calendar for 32% off and the Endor Speeder Chase Diorama for 23% off. At LEGO Tomorrow's the last day to get the free flower store gift with purchase with purchases over $200. And you can also get double insider points on all Mario sets to celebrate Mario Day. So if you want to pick up these deals or more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next in Transformers news, ever since we got Optimus Prime in 2022, fans have been clamoring for additional characters. And according to BrickClicker, it looks like our next set is going to be Bumblebee. Though just like Optimus, we probably won't be getting the modern version and we can probably expect the G1 version instead. This set is set to include 950 pieces and retail for $90 in July. And it's great to be getting this iconic Autobot. Just like with Optimus, this model should also be able to transform. And I could see Bumblebee also coming with some accessories just like we saw with Optimus. And the piece count and price makes me think it'll scale really well with the Optimus Prime figure. As someone who enjoyed the previous model, I'm really excited to add this set to my collection. And I'm eager to see who's going to be next. Next up tomorrow is Mario Day and to celebrate, LEGO revealed three brand new summer sets and gave us our first look at LEGO Mario Kart. The first reveal was the Bowser Express train with 1,390 92 pieces, retailing for $120. And this set is super large, but also makes an unbelievable display. The build comes straight out of Mario 3D World. And just like in the game, the level starts with you getting fired out of a cannon. At the back of the train is a push car where Mario can defeat the two pair of bitty buds. Then at the passenger car, he can defeat the hammer bro and lift up the top to reveal two Goombas eating in style. The next car features a spring-loaded projectile, which brings you to the main train engine with the unbelievable Bowser face. At the center, there's a spot for Mario, and as you roll it along, Along the smokestack lifts up and down. At the back, there's a spot for Boom Boom and a mechanism to rotate him around, plus a hidden star. And there's a great train station side build. Next, we've got King Boo's Haunted Mansion with 932 pieces retailing for $75. The haunted house build is substantial and folds up to be fully enclosed. By the gate, Luigi can defeat the dry bones. And to the right is a locked chest. Luigi can say hi to baby Yoshi and then head into the mansion for more surprises. As of course, there's a full interior. On the right is the library. And on the left is a chair to place Luigi to float mysteriously. Overhead, Luigi can defeat Boo and pressing down reveals the key. But of course, he'll also have to take on King Boo. Next up, we've got Battle with Roy at Peach's Castle with 738 pieces, retailing for $65. While this set is smaller than the previous Peach's Castle, it does have a really nice and cohesive look, which can also be folded up to fully enclose it. Flipping it around reveals the interior. On the right is a library and fireplace. On the left is a piano for your character to play, and at the center, a throne for Peach to sit on. And in addition to Toad, this set finally gives us Roy the last Koopaling. He rides a chariot with a chain chomp, which can be used to destroy the castle. The final reveal showed off a silhouette, which is of course one of the carts from Mario Kart. And we also saw the Mario digital figure, which should be compatible. Looking closer at the silhouette, it does look like a build for Mario's classic cart from the game. And I'd have to imagine this is going to be a full line, so we should at least see carts for the main three. Though sadly, we're gonna have to wait until next year to find out. While many of course are done with these digital characters, these newest sets definitely give me a lot of hope, as they're both display-worthy and play-worthy, and I'm excited to see what's next. Next in Batman news, this week we finally got the reveal of the animated series Gotham City, with 4,210 pieces, retailing for $300 on April 1st. This unique art-style build can be hung on the wall or displayed on a shelf. The build captures Gotham City in its Art Deco style with the red sky and all of the buildings, plus plenty of iconic locations from the show, with the Batman letters overhead. The build has plenty of dimensionality with removable sections to reveal Easter eggs and interiors, such as the hidden Batcave and Batmobile, and throughout stickers depict the characters like Robin, Batgirl, Joker, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Batman himself, plus the Batwing, Police Blimp, and Bat Signal. This set comes with a display stand for four currently exclusive minifigures. First up, we've got Batman, who looks great with the printed detail that continues onto the dual-molded legs. Next up, we've got Harley Quinn and Joker, who are so detailed, and I love the face prints. And finally, we've got Catwoman, who also looks great. Overall, I really like the look of this 
set. Though, of course, it is quite expensive and it's not going to be everyone's taste. But I do think it's also very cool to see them do a different take on the superhero set. Next up in Marvel news, thanks to BrickLicker, we got a ton more information of the upcoming summer wave of sets. So let's break it all down. First up, we've got Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron with 613 pieces, retailing for $110. And while I, like many, had hoped it was based off the end sequence, it's actually based off the start of the film, with a build of a modular snowy landscape. And just like in the Avengers Hydra Showdown set from when the film came out, this build will also have a Jeep. This set will include Iron Man, Captain America, Thor with a new plastic cape, maybe like the one from Vision, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk, and three Hydra agents. Also from this film, we'll be getting the Iron Legion Battle Pack with 135 pieces, retailing for $25. And this set will include Iron Man, two Iron Legion, and a Hydra agent, which sadly means no Ultron, Scarlet Witch, or Quicksilver. From the original Avengers, we've got Avengers vs. Loki and Leviathan with 347 pieces, retailing for $60, which is said to feature a build similar to the one we got in the recent Avengers Tower. Included will be Hulk, Captain America, Black Widow, Loki, and a Chitauri. From Guardians of the Galaxy, we've got the Milano with 2,090 pieces, retailing for $170. Set celebrates the film's 10th anniversary and will be larger than previous versions, making it similar to the previous Guardian ship, as this will also have a display stand. Included we've got Star-Lord, Drax with a gray color scheme, Gamora, Rocket, and a molded baby Groot. And speaking of Groot, we're getting Dancing Groot with 459 pieces, retailing for $60. From Thor Ragnarok, we'll be getting Surtur Battle with 245 pieces, retailing for $25. Surtur will be a buildable character, and it's said to include two minifigures. I have to imagine Thor will be one of them, but I'm hoping the other's Hela. We'll also be getting a midi-scale Hela carrier for $60, similar to the Star Wars ships we've seen from the recent Starship collection. We'll also be getting a 4-plus set Iron Man vs. Hulk with 68 pieces, retailing for $11, which is said to include a minifigure for Iron Man and a build for a bike, and likely a minifigure for the Hulk. There will be another advent calendar this year, but it's said to be themed all around Spider-Man. There will be a mini build for a snowman like we've seen, which features an exclusive head of Spider-Ham. Next in LEGO Fortnite news, we've got some major updates coming out of the recent new chapter. The most exciting reveal for many is the minifigure for Korra from the Legend of Korra and the Avatar series. And I know plenty of people would love a full theme for this. For the Battle Pass, we also have Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Aphrodite, Artemis, Medusa, and Cerberus. Plus, this update brings many more skins, including the Tron outfits, Bruno Mars, and the DJ Marshmallow. Plus, in LEGO Fortnite, they introduced kits, which are sort of like LEGO sets in the game. And there's some pretty interesting ones, including a Lion Knight's castle. And if you're picking anything up and you want to support the channel, use creator code TalkBricks. Next, in LEGO Star Wars news, we got an update on the Visual Dictionary, including an exclusive Darth Maul minifigure. This figure is a remake of the one from 1999, as you can see here with the new one on the left and the older one on the right. Though this figure does have the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars print on the back. The book is set to come out April 2nd, and if you want to pre-order it and support the channel, there's a link in the description below. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, there were six more projects that 10,000 supporters on the platform this week, so let's break them down. First up, we've got LEGO Gundam, which aims to recreate the original model of the RX-78 II. The build looks spot on, just as it does in the model kits, and I think many fans would love to get this iconic robot. Next up, we've got Coraline the Pink Palace, based of course on the classic animated film. And the designer packed in a ton of great detail here, but we have seen ideas based on this rejected before, and there are some already in review, so we'll have to see about this one. Next up, we've got Finding Nemo First Day of School. Based of course on the Pixar film, this one depicts Nemo and his friends at school on Mr. Ray. And the designer did a great job capturing the characters in the coral reef. Next up, we've got Rocky Reef Restoration. This build features a similar design with a great coral reef, as well as this unique jellyfish-shaped submarine. But I'm curious how it'll do, as we have seen other reef-based projects rejected. Next up, we've got the Wizard Peaks, which is a unique medieval-style build in microscale. While we don't often see microscale projects be selected, this one does have a lot of really great detail. Finally, we've got Dancing House Prague. The designer did a really great job bringing this unique-shaped building to life, though I am curious about its global appeal, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, a truly epic week in LEGO news, and I just can't believe there's so many sets still coming. I'm really looking forward to all the new Marvel sets, and I really like the look of the new Super Mario line. Not to mention, I'm so excited for Bumblebee and the potential of Mario Kart. And in the meantime, I'll have to think if I want to drop $300 on Gotham City. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories, and which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations, and be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one.